Now just to recap, we're given these two events J and K. J being that Jack is late for school and K is Camel is late for school. And also we've got these summary probabilities. And the first question then we've got to work out the probability that at least one of Jack and Camel are late for school. Now if I get something like this then what I'd want to do is a Venn diagram. So if we start then with a Venn diagram it's going to be something like this. Just draw yourself some rectangle which is essentially the universal set and then draw a set here for J and we'll have a set here that overlaps for K. Now we need to put these probabilities in to the Venn diagram and we start with probability of J equals 0.25 but we can't do that because it covers both those two regions. We don't know how it's distributed. But here when we've got the probability of J intersecting with K or J and K being 0.15 well that's the probability that can be represented in the overlap here, the middle. So we can put that in as 0.15. Now that means now that we've got probability j equals 0.25, that covers those two regions, then we've just got to make this add up to 0.25. So clearly this has got to be 0.1. Now we've got the probability of not j and not k. So if you're not in j, that's on the outside of j here, and at the same time not in k, you must be just in this surrounding area outside both these regions. So that means that this must be 0.7. And we know that all four regions must total 1. So if you work out, if we just add these together, what we end up with is a total of 0 0.25, 0 0.95. So that means that this must be 0.05. So now I've got all the probabilities in the various regions. So when it comes to doing this question, the probability at least one of Jack and Camel are late for school, this is actually the probability of J union K. J or K or both are late for school. And that's represented in this section round here these three probabilities. So you could work that out by obviously adding them up or you could work them out as being 1 minus the 0 0.7. Either way you're going to end up with a probability of 0 0.3. Okay.